In this example, you will review some concepts studied thus far and sketch a two-dimensional drawing. Let's use the main tools in AutoCAD and draw a mechanical part. First, create some layers for the drawing. Define two new layers named as Drawing and Center. Change the center layer color to red. Dotted line for the line type. Go to line type and select this option. Now enable the line command and define the origin point for the coordinates as 0, 0. Starting from that point, type 60 for the x axis and 34 for the y axis. Conclude the geometry by closing the rectangle. In the center of the part, let's sketch a circle to simulate a drill hole. Enable the circle command and define 30 for the x axis and 17 for the y axis. See how the center of the circle is in the middle of the part. Define 13 for the radius value. Let's create some parallel copies of this circle using the offset command. The value of the larger wall will be 4 and the smaller one 3. Make smaller copies clicking on the inside of each circle. Let's simulate another two drill holes in this part on each end and remember they will be aligned towards the center of the model. Click the circle command again and then define 8.5 for the X coordinate and 17 for the Y. The radius will be 5 units. Also make a smaller parallel copy and the wall measurement as 2.5 units. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. The values to sketch the desired point are 51.5 for the X axis and 17 for the Y. The values are the same as in the other drill hole. The larger radius is 5 units and the smaller is 2.5. Now let's sketch the part fasteners. Use the line command to do this. The origin point is 20 for X and 0 for Y. Remember to keep the ortho option enabled for the line and placed at 90 degree angles to facilitate definition. The size is 18 and the fastener part thickness is 5. Conclude the drawing by closing the geometry. Repeat the same process on the top side of the part. However, the origin point for the line command is the following, 20 for X and 34 for Y. The size will be identical to the part fastener shown below. To finish the drawing, let's sketch some lines to show the center of the drill holes. Initially, enable the center layer in the properties box. Draw the vertical lines and see how the properties are already displayed by the layer. You will see three views for the finished part in the files of this course. So in this practical example you have reviewed the main commands learned in this module. Working with their options and also learning some techniques to facilitate drawing organization and design.